this up this morning, YouTube fam. It is Monday, September 6th, I believe, or 5th, September 5th, and I think we're officially like three days out. I don't even want to say the word, and it feels so weird, and I know you guys are probably wondering where does the time go, and I'm wondering where does the time go, and I'm just hoping that someone has an answer because time is just going way too fast, and I feel like it's all going to come so soon, and... Thankfully, I do have a few shows coming this season, so it's not like it's going to go by super fast like it normally does for me, because I normally only do, like, one show a year. Um, but I'm just, I'm getting so excited. I can't believe it's all happening so fast. Um, I'm beyond static with where my physique is at, with how my progress is going. Um, I did hit a new low weight in yesterday and the day before, but today my weight went back up, which is why we don't focus on weight. Um, I went all the way down to 117.2 yesterday, and then today I'm just doing my regular check-ins with my coach, but he did make some changes yesterday. Yeah, he dropped down my training volume quite a bit for this week. We're doing kind of a deload, and then I'm also refeeding today, so we're starting to try out things for my peak week, so when it comes to show day, we know exactly what we're doing, we know exactly what works for my body, so we're still playing around with some things. That being said, today is a refeed day, so I'm super excited for that. I get an extra 200 grams of carbs, so I get 350 grams of carbs in total, and then um, 40 fat, 140 protein, so I'm super stoked for that. I did actually buy some flour that we used to make arepas. It's like corn flour, so hopefully I'll be throwing that in. Also, I have the plantains, so I can curb some climbing cravings and then I also have to do some meal prepping because tomorrow I am headed to Florida for some work stuff. Um, gotta do some packing, just little things like that that just make me so excited because Florida refeed a uh, low volume leg day which sounds like heaven right now because my leg days have been killing me. It's like the more that we, the deeper we get into prep the harder and harder they get and Sometimes our girl just needs to chill. So, I'm super excited for that. Super excited to bring you guys along with me on the day. As you can tell, I'm all bundled up and ready to go get some steps in. It's currently 7.22 in the morning. Um, so, we definitely do have a busy day ahead. Hopefully, it's a lot of food. Not so much talking. And happy days. Man. Focus my is uh, you met so wifey or so, I don't know. <laughs> Who cares, man? We just gonna have fun tonight. No pain, no gain. Here we go. Pretty lady by my side says, double for the night, but except this is me for my. Sell up them laugh in the club with the gain in the club. But vandaag is the year for my. Sell up the free chip home, met home alone. For now, for me, for now, for now, for me, for now. Hello YouTube fam, welcome back to another one of my videos. Thank you so much for tuning back in. You guys know I always appreciate that. Since I often get asked how I set up for my glute bridges, I thought I would quickly do a voiceover on this to explain to you guys how I normally do it. So the first thing I do is set up the clips low so I can set the bar on them and that way add a 45 pound plate on each side and then I bring it down to the floor and then that makes it easier for me to add smaller plates like the 25 pound plate that you guys saw me adding there and then of course you're gonna want to use the safety clip to keep that tight and then what I use to protect my hips is a yoga mat and the bar pad that you usually use for squats um, if your gym doesn't have the yoga mat you can use any other kind of mat just basically anything to keep your hips safe and then from there on you can go ahead and perform the glute bridge it's nothing too fancy and it definitely does keep my hips from bruising or hurting so 
So I'm feeling beyond amazing after wrapping up that workout and that cardio. I'm so happy that cardio is done because honestly, I was dreading it. Like 30 minutes of cardio to me sounded a lot like five microwave minutes or something. <laughs> like, just wasn't feeling it today. So super glad that that's over with. And now we can continue on with our refeed day. I'm also very happy that we're doing kind of like a deload week because I can definitely tell that my body is getting to the point where it needs like a break <laughs> pretty much. Last week my lips were a little bit weak so that's when I start to know that my body's starting to ask me for a little bit less volume so I'm really happy that we decided to do that this week and hopefully it just helps me to be more refreshed and more energized to hit it hard again next week. Don't ever take rest for granted because I know it sucks and I know it feels like you're slacking but trust me it's gonna do wonders for your body and your progress. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar esta canción. What you guys just saw is basically what I've been craving this whole refeed besides my banana and oatmeal, which is what I always crave during a refeed. You guys can see that I'm playing it pretty safe at this point. It's not so much about the enjoyment of food, but how my body is responding to it and how my body is absorbing it. So I really want to keep an eye on the fact that I'm staying tight, that I'm not experiencing any bloating obviously on show day i will not eat vegetables vegetables are a huge no-no for me on show days and for most competitors as well but i am gonna have a couple of these and probably some cereal just because that meal wasn't enough really and these are actually so freaking good these are the sour cream and chives and the macros are like five grams of carbs for one little rice cake i'll show you guys what they look like Con mucho cariño de mi corazón. and they are to die for La República Dominicana, la casa del merengue, la casa de la bachata. La 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 la. La casa del merengue. I have never in my life cooked plantains when they were previously frozen, so I'm kind of a little bit nervous on how these are going to turn out. But honestly, they smell amazing. They smell like they normally do, so that's a good sign. But my god so i'm gonna leave them in there for the rest of the 17 minutes they have remaining so i threw them in there for an hour and then we'll see what happens so while those cook i'm just over here doing my check-in with jose i am also figuring out what my meals are gonna be for tomorrow when i travel i like to make a meal plan for myself on my fitness pal so i pre-plan all my meals and that's what i'll pack i'll show you guys how i'm gonna pack them in a little bit here i do have a video that goes more into detail about meal prepping when i travel so if you want to check that out you're more than welcome to but this is going to be basically showing you guys what i meal prep for tomorrow and what the meals look like when they're already packed so i'm not trying to complicate it too much for myself i'm going to try and keep it very low volume so it doesn't take up so much room in my six pack bag and yeah la, 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 la. Y la casa de la bachata took me like 10 15 minutes of that i'm not even i'm not exaggerating maybe a little bit but it didn't take me very long at all because everything was already pretty much cooked i had the plantains cooked sweet potato chicken the shredded lettuce i didn't have to cook thank god but um all i have packed for tomorrow is i got some shredded lettuce got some chicken also have some protein powder for proteins i have oatmeal which you guys know how i cook if you don't know then you need to watch more of my videos <laughs> and then i have one of the corn thin cakes 
got some peanut butter and then I also have a par crunch crunchy or crispy bar and that's basically all the food for tomorrow um, I do get to Florida at like 5 p.m. so I don't have to eat all my foods on the road but I just like to have it prepared just in case like the flight is delayed or something happens you never know with airlines so I am gonna be staying at my cousin's house so I don't have to pack more food for the following days I'll have a kitchen available to me I'll probably just bring some extra stuff like kamut puffs and whatever I have here that I don't want to go bad but other than that this is basically all that I am bringing and then I'll be bringing a couple Tupperware containers so I can empty the food into the Tupperware containers and that's about it for my meal prep for tomorrow's travel day so something I do because they won't let you bring your ice packs on the plane is I usually freeze my chicken or freeze something like whatever I have extra that I'm bringing with me I'll try to freeze it that way I can keep the food refrigerated throughout the day so I'm gonna put all of this away continue packing my suitcase and then probably have a meal soon here so I will check in with you guys then forgot to mention something I usually throw all the food in one of these so all the cold foods will go in here and then the dry stuff I usually just throw on the sides of my six pack bag there you guys have it full day worth of food for the check cereal that you guys saw me put in here first these little guys but we're not the most macro friendly cereal but they are gluten free and they taste amazing and they sit really really nicely on the stomach which is why i'm having it because i will most likely add that to my show day food just because it's a very carb dense food that tastes good and sits well in my stomach which is what you want you don't want to be eating big meals that are going to extend your stomach Of course, I'm bringing my pea science protein powder. I got some more chocolate cupcake in here. Then I have some Alphamine high volume shift, true ZMA, and Gynoflex. So we are getting pretty close to bedtime. As you guys can see, I have all my food ready to be packed in my six pack bag. Um, all the cold stuff obviously will remain in the fridge until tomorrow morning when I leave. Um, there is a reason why there's kale chips as part of my meal prep, but you guys are gonna have to stay tuned and watch the next few videos coming to find out why. It's the secret as of right now, but I did just have two of those corn thins, the white cheddar, whatever they are. They're so good. I'm literally like obsessed. I could just sit here and eat the rest of my carbs in those because they're so good. But I won't do that. Um, I'm definitely not gonna make the arepas though. I was thinking about it. I just... It's 6.38, I want to be in bed by 8, so I still have around 160 or 70 grams of carbs to eat. Um, around 40 protein and like 25 fat, if I'm not mistaken. I do have quite a bit of fats left, as you guys know, I'm always really conservative with my fats and protein on my refeed days, just because I don't ever want to go over, and it's really easy to when you're trying to hit that many carbs. So I'm probably going to stick to some pretty simple stuff for the next foods that I have for this last meal because I just, I'm tired and it's, I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to eat. Probably more plantains and checks because that was the most amazing meal I've ever had. <laughs> I love plantains so much. I semi figured out what I'm going to eat. First, I wanted to try these zesty cheddar ones. Mm. They're not better than the other ones, that's for sure. The plantain wins again. <laughs> So I got an 
early flight to catch tomorrow. It is 9.25 p.m. So it's not quite 8 p.m. I said I wanted to go to sleep by then, but it's better than 11 p.m. So I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content, then make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. And if you have any questions for me, anything to tell me, make sure to leave it down below. See you guys next video.